Hi, my name is Sarah from Party Display and Costume, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a sew free tutu. So for tutus, you can make them for kids or adults. Um, for kids, I generally recommend around six yards of tulle. For an adult, you can go anywhere between eight and 12, just depending on how full or big you want it. You have two different options for your banding. You could either do a satin ribbon, which is what I prefer, or you could do an elastic. For elastic, what you want to do is stretch it around your waist and give it about an extra inch or two, and um, so that, and then you have to sew it together when you're all finished. With your satin ribbon, what I like to do is measure on my waist and then give it about a foot and a half extra on either end, just to allow you to make like a nice pretty bow when you're all finished. Okay, so. With the tool, what you're going to do is you have your tool in front of you. When you pick it up, it is folded in half, as you can see. So what I do is I take my scissors and I break these into probably about yard pieces, so about three feet wide. And I cut down that seam that's folded in half. So now you have two pieces of tool. Now to make these little strips that you see, you can make them anywhere to two inches up to six inches wide. That's really at your own discretion. I usually like them to be a little bit smaller. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two pieces of tool, you're gonna roll it up, and then you just cut your pieces however wide you want them. So there. And just to show you what thick piece is like, I'm gonna leave this big. So now you take your, your fabric that you are doing the tying on, and I'm gonna use my lovely assistant here, Ms. Melissa, she's gonna <laughs> hold this. <laughs> so you take the tool, take your little strip, fold it in half, and you do a slip knot, so you just open up, and then pull through. And then you just keep repeating. See what that? Those are what small pieces look like. This is what the bigger pieces look like together. So it's going to create a much fatter knot there. So you have that. You also have the option of you can take two pieces of tool at the same time and tie it together. I like to do that if um, the color is lighter and it's not showing up as well. I'll fold two pieces. And there you go. So this is two thin pieces right here, and this is gonna be the thicker pieces. This is two together. So you have it. So it's really simple, it's just gonna be a little time consuming. If you do the satin ribbon um, to kind of do the finishing touch on it, what I like to do is I take my ribbon. cut it at a diagonal, and then you take a lighter, and you just singe the edge there. So you see I've melted it, and that way it doesn't fray like that. And over here you'll just see some options of different tutus you can make. This is more of a fall one that Catherine had made. This one I made for going to the Renaissance Fair. I wanted to be an evil fairy. What you can also do with some of these, you can add stuff to them, like this is when I was Poison Ivy a few years ago. I added some ivy to it, some ribbon, and then I also made myself this little one that I could use to be as a choker, as a hair piece, going to do like a Mother Nature type thing. So there you have it. If you ever have any questions, come to the store and, and anybody in costumes would be more than happy to help you on your tutu adventure. Have a great day.